Uh, well done, uh, Danny. Uh, nice 5 1 win. Uh, so we're through to the uh, FA Cup uh, second qualifying round. Um, you were quite critical of your uh, your team during the week. I uh, weren't too happy with the performance. Uh, you must have liked what you saw today. Yeah, 100%. You couldn't ask. That was that was a performance. Um, you know, uh, from start to finish, we was dominant. Uh, we looked we looked hungry. Um, and, you know, we spoke about it at training on Thursday. You know, we've we choose these. Um, Tuesday's performance, and you know everyone, everyone's in agreement with the players as well. That you know Tuesday we just yeah we weren't at it, and as I said, hopefully it was just a, a, a one-off. Um, and yeah, it looks like it was to be because I say today was the total opposite of Tuesday, uh, and we just dominated in, in every every area of the pitch. And I think you know I don't really want to pick players out. If I was picking two out as they. Um, Fabian Sims and Alex Reid for me was uh, was exceptional. But everyone, there wasn't a bad performance on the pitch. Everyone did their job. We looked solid. Uh, you know, I know, I know they've got one, um, and you could probably pick at it, but you'd, you'd be doing it for the sake of it. It was just an all-round great performance. Couldn't ask anything more. You uh, you mentioned Alex Reid there. Got another two goals today. Junior Dadson another two goals today. Those two are just banging him in at the moment, aren't they? They are. They're on fire, the pair of them. Uh, but I think for me today, as well as his goals, uh, Alex's all-round play was was excellent. I mean, uh, the, their two centre halves look, looked like rabbits in headlights for the for the as the saying goes uh, from from the start right to the end. And, uh, and he, he was just yeah, he, he was strong. He held the ball up well. Uh, he got in he got in the right areas in the box and. To be fair, he, he probably deserved one or two more goals, if I'm being honest with you. And uh, talking about deserving goals, Craig, Craig Pope was uh, up there with what, what looked like a perfectly good goal, disallowed it, I think, for a push, the referee I said. I, I can't understand you know, why he disallowed it, because even their players was walking out. You know, There was no sort of appeals for anything, um, and he's obviously seen something. Uh, it would have been nice uh, for Pope to get on the score sheet, because again, his, his performance is... Uh, have been very very good so far this year, but it's, it's just one of the things. It's not something that I would I would imagine that anyone will be thinking about in an hour's time to do this. So uh, yeah, it's, it's not a problem. And uh, sort of looking forward then to the the next round. Um, at this stage, you sort of like to, to think that maybe you'll get one of the lower league sides to, to sort of maybe progress to that, that next round, make it a bit easier, or, or is it just a case of you take whoever comes up in the draw? I think. We'd all say that we'd like to have a, have a side from from the you know from the lower leagues below you, but they can just be as hard as, as the teams above you. I think it you know it depends on on the day. Um, so whoever we draw against, we won't you know, we won't fear no one, um, and we'll we'll approach the game to progress again. Because as I said to you last you know after the last round, we want to progress in this in this competition as, as far as we can. Give the uh, give the support something to cheer about. You know put the Exposure to the club a little bit more, um, and obviously for the players, it, it's fantastic to uh, to progress in this competition. So, all for no one, mate. And uh, yeah, we look forward to the draw on Monday. Yeah?